Well, we're on the farm this morning, and by we, I mean Cal Larson. He has the lucky assignment. He's in Hilbert at Mulberry Lane Farm with some spring animals. Good morning. Oh, so lucky. Good morning, good morning. This could not be more enjoyable. We're having some fun early out here. Look at this, just one of the many spring baby animals they have out here. Bonnie Keys is with me. Bonnie, how fun is this? It's pretty fun, don't you think? Does it ever get old? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of, plenty of time left uh, right. for you guys to have some fun out here. Mm -hmm. I know you guys do a lot of field trips too. The kids get to come into this room, one of many, and see everything that's in here. What is in here this morning for us, Bonnie? Well, we're in the little critter barn, and we have a ton of critters in here right now today. We have our baby chicks, our baby ducklings, couple of our bunnies in from the bunny barn and we're gonna bring out a couple of our kittens here real soon. And it's great they all get to interact together. These chickens seem to just love this heat lamp this morning. Why is that? <laughs> well it's a little chilly this morning so they do like to gravitate under that heat lamp just like a lot of our baby animals do. So that's why we have them in a controlled area. So the families that visit this weekend they're able to come into these spaces and uh, we ask the parents to pick up the baby chicks, pick up the bunny, and then let the little ones pet from your arms. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, let's shift down just a little bit because yeah. I know there are so many animals out <laughs> here that we can show off. Right. Some more here that we can take a look at. You also have some kittens that you brought out for us to show. Yes. Uh, it's surprising, even though so many of our families have kittens at home, the kitten oh barn is goodness. one of the favorite places. Look at that. <laughs> so how old are these kittens? These are eight weeks old. Oh. And then this weekend we'll also have on display just three-year-old kittens. Their eyes are just opening up and they're uh, still nursing with mom. So they'll be on display. We won't be holding them. But the older ones like this one and the other ones in the kitten barn, they can come in oh and Oh my pet. goodness. That is just incredible. You want to grab this I one? I would love to. And I'll oh, grab look how cute these animals are. You guys got to just be kicking yourselves with all of this out here. <laughs> this is so much fun, Bonnie. Right. Look at, and, and they're just, they seem pretty good, pretty, I mean, obviously there's not a whole lot of commotion out here this morning. It's just, Correct. Uh, just us hanging out, but they seem like they're doing pretty well. And a lot of it is imprinting. They're used to being held practically from birth. So it's something special for the little ones to be able to get so up close right. and personal with the ducklings, get to see the bill, get to see their webbed feet. Yeah. You know, they see it in their storybooks or they see it on TV, but to hold it and touch it, it's really something, something yep, special. Something totally different. Well, Bonnie, thanks so much for bringing these out. We have a lot more to show you guys. We're not going anywhere this morning. We will send it back to you for now. We're going to hang out in here for just a little bit longer. Yeah, you don't want to go anywhere just yet. Thanks, Cal. There's no clearer sign of spring than in Calumet County than little baby animals. This morning, Fox 11's Cal Larson is learning that firsthand. He's at Mulberry Lane Farm. Hi, Cal. Emily, good morning. Spring has certainly sprung. I'm not a big fan of that phrase, but it's true when you're out here and you get to see all the baby animals. We're gonna bring Bonnie back in over here because she has some piglets to show off for us. Bonnie, I mean, just the cutest things of all time. Correct. They're, uh, they're pretty new, too. When, when were these ones born? They're just five days old. Oh my goodness. And our sow had 11 piglets. So when you come to the farm, you'll be able to get up close and see the little ones. Yeah, when we can get a great look at them right here. They were feeding earlier. That's where all the action would have been. They're getting some, some rest now here early in the morning. Right. I, I imagine this has to be one of the areas the kids just love. It is, along with our teenage pig pen, where they can actually go into the pig pen and pet the pig. So there's not very many uh, children, let alone adults even, that have had a chance to pet a pig. Right. What kind of care goes into this? Do you guys have to be monitoring them a whole bunch? We do. They're in their little... Oh, yeah, we better give her noisy. back to mama. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We got to show her off just a little bit. They're in a little creeper to protect them from when mom lays mm -hmm. down. We don't want her to accidentally lay on them. But as soon as it's feeding time, they know exactly oh, they where to go. they rush out. Yeah, yeah, well, let's shift over. We have so much to show off this morning. Here we have a baby mule, correct, correct. me if I'm wrong. We have a mini mule and a mini horse. Here, our mini horse is Sweetie, and Hi, she sweetie. was bred. Let's see if she wants one of the treats you, <laughs> you had given me. She was bred with a <laughs> mini donkey. Okay. And therefore, they produce a mini mule. So oh. if it was just the opposite, if mama was a donkey, 
and daddy was a horse, then it would be a henny. So fascinating. I'm loving all, everything we're learning out here. And again, just the cutest, sweetest. And you said the baby mule here is just a couple days old as Cor well. Correct. It was born during the night, April 27th into the morning of the 28th. So we don't know her exact birth date, but uh, we'll say April 27th. So it really is. As soon as late April comes around, all the animals kind of start making their way out. And then you guys have this chance to show them all off all at once. That's right. got to just be so much fun. Right. Spring comes alive at Mulberry Lane Farm. We invite the families out here this weekend. It's our kickoff of our spring baby farm animal event. And if you can't make it this weekend, come next weekend. Mothers are free with another's paid admission for there Mother's Day. Plenty of time to come out here and yes. check out all the animals. Bonnie, thank you guys. I mean, I just can't say it enough how great this is. We'll send it back to you. We're going to keep enjoying these animals out here. And how jealous we are back here at the studio. Thanks, Cal. Yeah. From horses at the Derby to horses in Calumet County, Fox 11's Cal Larson is getting his dose of all farm animals this morning. Hi, Cal. Rachel, we've covered our bases. No horses, we got goats here for you. Take a look at this one. One of, gosh, I mean, I'm no good with numbers. It could be dozens, dozens in here. Let's bring Bonnie back in. Once. <laughs> Bonnie, you're getting just harassed, I guess, would be the word to Correct. say this morning. <laughs> well, How old are, are the ones we're holding specifically? Well, these are just about 10 days okay. old, but we have some that are days old to about 15 days old. And it's amazing just how many are in this one pen we're in of all colors and all sizes. What does keeping track of all these goats, what goes into that? <laughs> Can't imagine it's easy. Well, it's very interesting. The nanny goat knows its baby by its sound. It's not by looks. So it, they each have their own vocal that the nanny goat is can identify. Uh -huh and the baby knows who mom is. Isn't that amazing? Yes. And look how playful they all are too. I was joking, I love just seeing them bounce around and hop around. I imagine it's gotta be as exciting for the kids that come out here and get to watch all this. It is. Again, we encourage the parents to pick up the babies and hold them and let the child pet from your arms. It's uh, safest for the little ones because they can get squirmy, but Sometimes just coming in here, pull up a log and sit yeah. down and watch the kids play. Does it ever get old? I mean, you, you were saying earlier just how therapeutic holding animals as baby animals is a whole nother thing. I mean, it's just so almost comforting to have it, them in our arms right now. It is. We do get a lot of special needs group, elderly, some sure. group homes and that. Uh, animals being around them, it's just a calming effect on you. So our families in the area are invited to come out this weekend and visit us for our spring baby oh. farm animal event. And that one just looks so comfortable. This one's giving me some fit squirming around a little bit. I mean, I, I certainly don't blame them being picked <laughs> up by a complete stranger out here. It will, it will not stop amazing me how different they all look and just how much fun they all have out here. And we're having some fun right alongside with them. We sure are. <laughs> Bonnie, this really couldn't be better. We have a, uh, a cow demonstration coming up for you guys. We'll show you that off, but otherwise we're gonna be uh, in here oh. enjoying these goats. And I might try and- uh, Bring that one to me. a couple I won't sneak off with one. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know if I'd be able to bring, get this in my bag and bring it back oh. to you, but it would be a heck of a station pet, that's for I, sure. I think so. I like what you, I like how you think. Gail, <laughs> thank you so much, enjoy. From the water to the farm, it's time for spring baby animals. Fox 11's Cal Larson and it's in Hilbert this morning to show them off. Hi, Cal. Who are you with this time? Hey, good morning, everyone. We are with Bessie over my shoulder here. This is what we've been leading up to all morning. We're going to bring in Farmer Pat. Pat Keys here. Pat, before we get to work, because you are going to put me to work, <laughs> tell us a little bit about Bessie, please. I'd love to. And by the way, thanks for spending a little time oh, with us. Oh, gosh, absolutely. On this beautiful absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Bessie's uh, our, our milking cow at the farm. And everyone who visits us here, gets to uh, come up to her and squeeze a little milk out of her faucets. <laughs> well, it sounds like a blast and that's what we're about to do. Now I said uh, earlier, Pat, that I'm gonna need you back here in case uh, anything goes awry, but I said earlier, it's been about 20 years since I've done anything like this. We grew up on a farm, hi, we grew up on a farm in the southwestern part of the state. Any tips and tricks for me as I get going? Well, you Let's just... Let's see if I can. I was getting it off camera. There we go. You just want to grab one of her teats and 
Work your magic. Well, I don't know if magic is the right word, but something, something's hey. coming. There we go. Look, it's like riding a bike. It looks like the milk is moving. <laughs> so so kids get to come out here, and I mean, Bessie's just got to be kind of ready to go. Yes, I'll, and Cal, some, of the, even some of our older farm guests just <laughs> have always had a desire to milk a cow. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for them to fulfill that yeah. desire. Yeah, well, they said, they, said, they said back in the studio that I'm a natural, so I don't know if you'd, if you'd echo yeah, that statement. I, <laughs> I, I think after a couple of days helping us here at the farm, you yeah. would be excellent. Oh, I could spend a whole lot more than a couple days out here. Well, we, I mean, we, my, my parents loved putting us to work. There was no shortage of cows to milk down in the southwestern part of the state, so like I said, it's been about 20 years, you know, you get to be a, uh, you get pretty comfortable as a city kid, so this is a good, good refresher for me. You guys welcome kids out here uh, in May, five days a week. I, got, I, I imagine that's just got to be so excited to see them out here. Yeah, it's, um, uh, I think Monday is our only, Monday and Tuesday, in yes, we, we take yep. off, and, and, but the other days, yes, we, the farm is open, so feel welcome to yeah, stop, and, shift there we stop go. and spend some time with us. Yeah, well, hey, it's a great time out here. It's been a beautiful day, too, and it's about to be a beautiful, be even more beautiful as the day goes on. We can't thank you guys enough for letting us out here and having some fun with you. It's been fun. These baby animals are so cute. You guys got it made out here. We, we're, we're, we're living a dream. Yeah, absolutely, Pat. Thanks for waking up with us. And Bonnie as well. Guys, it's been so much fun out here this morning. This is right up my alley, as I've been saying all morning. We're going to stick around here just a little bit, soak it all in before yeah. I rush back to the station. Yeah, but you, we'll go back to you for now. You got to live the dream for just a little bit today. Thanks, Exa Cal. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. was fun. <laughs>